Welcome to today's lesson on Rises the Moon. Throughout this lesson you're going to learn the structure of the song, the chords that you need to know and the picking patterns as well so that you can master this song. So let's get straight into it. So our guitar is in standard tuning but in the recording you'll notice that the guitar is actually tuned down about a quarter of a tone but we'll stay in standard tuning for this one just so it's a bit easier for us to learn. So I'll start by playing you the introduction and then I'll teach you the chords and picking pattern. So we're going to begin on a B flat minor seven. So we're using our sixth fret here, the sixth string, fourth, third, and second string. So six, four, three, and two there. So we're gonna pluck the sixth string and then the fourth, third, and second string together. And again, so six, four, three, and two. And then repeat that. So slowly there. And then we're gonna move our middle finger up to the sixth fret of the sixth string and our index finger down to the fifth fret of the fourth string to make a B flat minor six. So from our B flat minor seven to a B flat minor six. And that same picking pattern, six, four, three, and two. Six, four, three, and two, twice. So the start of that will be and then again and then the last time we play it will be our B flat minus six so that's six four three and two twice and then all four of those strings that we've been playing six four three two at once so that whole intro. Then we'll get straight into a verse. Now our verse is gonna begin with exactly the same chords, so like this. fourth bar rather than going to a B flat minor six like we have been we're gonna go down to a D flat seven so that's barring on the fourth fret and then we're gonna use our ring finger on the sixth fret of the fourth string and our pinky on the sixth fret of the second string and you're gonna be plucking the fifth fourth third and second string so that's fifth string then fourth, third, and second string together twice. And then all four of those. So. So the start of the verse will be. Then on to our D flat seven. Now the next part of our verse, we're gonna slide up to the ninth fret here. So we're going to bar the ninth fret from the 5th string and then we're going to add our ring finger onto the 11th fret of the 4th string our middle finger onto the 10th fret of the 3rd string and our pinky onto the 11th fret of the 2nd string so using the 5th, 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings again so you should hear this that's our G flat major 7 so from this one D flat 7 up to our ninth fret that same picking pattern, starting on the 5th string, then onto the 4th, 3rd and 2nd string, playing that through twice. And then we're going to slide down to an F sharp diminished chord. So it's a little bit of a strange one, but from our G flat major 7, sliding with our pinky and ring finger down 1 fret, we're going to go middle finger on the 9th fret of the 5th string, and index finger on the 8th fret of the 3rd string. So you should hear these notes. And we're gonna go five again, and then four, three, and two together. And then pluck all of them together. 
together. So the second half of the verse will be then down to our F sharp diminished and then that'll take us into an interlude which is going to go back to our original chords and then that'll take us straight into another verse. Now our verse will begin exactly the same as before D flat seven, we're gonna pluck through the whole thing. So rather than holding it like we did before. Then up here. And then we're gonna go onto a new chord. So this new chord will be a D flat major. So that's barring on the ninth fret again, up to the sixth string this time. And we're gonna go ring finger and pinky finger on the 11th fret of the 5th and 4th strings respectively and then our middle finger on the 10th fret there as you can see on the 3rd string so 6, 5, 4 and 3 together so that's our D flat major and then the next chord is going to be a D flat augmented chord so we're changing here with our ring finger down to the 4th string on the 11th fret and our pinky onto the 12th fret of the 5th string. So you hear these four strings. And that same plucking pattern. So the second half of that verse will be... onto our D-flat major. And then D-flat augmented. Just like that. Now that'll take us into a chorus which is going to start back on our D flat major chord. So we've just ended on our D flat augmented, then back to our D flat major, then we're going to move on to a D flat 7 which is just taking off our fifth and fourth string there with our ring and pinky finger. So now it's just going to be barred on the ninth fret and with our middle finger on the tenth fret of the third string and we're going to pluck Six, four, three, and two together. Twice as we have been. So the start of our chorus will go onto our D flat seven, then to a G flat major seven, just like before, and then down to our F sharp diminished chord. But this time we'll pluck it a little bit differently. So it will be all four of those strings together. That's fifth, fourth, third, and second string together. Then five, three, five, two. So. So, so far. And then five, four, three, and two together. So the start of the chorus will be D flat major, D flat seven, G flat major seven, and then F sharp diminished. And then repeat that again. Then when we get down to our F sharp diminished the second time in the chorus, we're just gonna pluck those four strings together and hold it there for the two bars. So the whole chorus there will be. through once on the F sharp diminished chord. That will take us into another interlude, which is just back down to our original B flat minor seven, and then to the minor six. And again, repeat the same thing. And then into another verse. So this next verse is our third verse, but it's played identically to the first verse. So it'll be played like this. to our D flat and then up to here and then this will take us straight into another interlude just the four bars and then
then into another verse identical to the one we just played. So I've just shown you that one, so if you need to check it out again, just skip back a few seconds and you'll be able to learn that properly. And then that'll take us into a final outro after verse four. Now our outro will be played like this. And just ending like that. So we're going to begin on our B flat minor seven as before. B flat minor 6, then kind of onto a G flat major 7 with the B flat as the root note. So, so far. Then just moving our index finger down to the 4th fret, everything else stays the same. And as you're getting slower there, you're just going to end on this last one, which is 6th fret of the 3rd and 2nd string, barred with your index finger. And then you can use your pinky or ring finger there on the 8th fret of the 1st string. So just to finish it off, the outro there is B flat minor 7, B flat minor 6, G flat major 7, and then ending on a D flat major 7. Just like that. So one more time. Thanks for joining me today. That was Rises to the Moon. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have, please like and subscribe to show your support and I'll see you in the next video.